I'll check right now. <gasps> oh my god! I have to tell Nadim. What? No way. I can't believe Chris. Oh, this thing is real? It's verified? Oh shit. I'm gonna have to tell Aman. Well, let me just give Aman a call then ASAP. Come on, you won't believe this, bro. I swear, I'll send it to you. Yo, I can't believe it's true. See? Oh, you have to retweet that, bro. You have to retweet it and let everyone else know. Yeah. Don't worry, I think it's true, bro. I told you it's true. How viral Atplot's tweet story proves the power of fake news. Everything said in the tweet is not true. People involved in the conspiracy doesn't exist. Thank you, Twitter, for inviting us to join in the thread campaign. Oh, wow, guys, that was all false. I can't believe we all fell for that. Wow, that shows the power of fake news, man. We all believe this just because of social media. Damn it, man, I can't believe we all fell for it again. Echo Chamber is a metaphorical description of a situation in which beliefs are amplified or reinforced by communication and repetition inside a closed system. This is when everyone around you is speaking about something and you get influenced to think that that is true. So it's created by social media. Echo chamber can be found in today's society as many people speak about one thing which makes everyone around them believe that's, that, that is going on. Good morning, folks. Welcome to Mornings in Sacramento. Today, you'll be joined by Nadine and Chris. We'll be speaking to you on news and media. Thank you for joining us, Chris. Thank you for having me here, but it's Dr. Chris. My apologies for that. I'm sorry, please. Have a seat. So, Chris, we'll jump right, up, right, right into it. How would you define fake news for our viewers? Well, fake news is typically defined as a, a news that is intentionally written to mislead readers to believe false information based on news content. Hmm, I can see that happening on many. Moving on to you, Dr. Chris, what do you feel are the implications of fake news? Well, as an increasing amount of our lives spent interacting online through social media platforms, more and more people tend to seek out and consume news from social media rather than traditional news organizations. Very true. Uh, the extensive spread of fake news uh, is, uh, I, in other words, uh, low quality news with intentionally false information has the potential for extremely negative impacts on individuals, our society, and our functioning democracy. What are some ways that we can obtain reliable information from, society, uh, from the new media? Well, uh, there are three basic ways that you can use to uh, detect fake news. One of them is uh, linguistic based, user based, and visual beats. Thank you for that information, Chris. I'm sure me and the rest of the watchers will now take that into account. And I'm sure we worry about what we see because don't forget, guys, the elections are coming up. Let's be worried about the information that we see. Guess what? This time, there is a lot more money. And guess what? Salve from Russia. 